Carcinoid tumors are the most common malignant small bowel neoplasm and are derived from enterochromaffin or Kolchitsky cells. They are most prevalent in the ileum with increasing incidence more distally and can be multifocal or associated with tumors in one third of cases. Malignant carcinoid syndrome, presenting with flushing, diarrhea, and palpitations, is rare in the absence of hepatic metastases or extra abdominal disease. Labs are notable for an elevated 24-hour 5-hydroxyindoleacetic acid level, a serotonin metabolite. Primary tumors are not always visualized, but mesenteric metastases can appear as a mass with soft tissue spokes radiating into the mesenteric fat, causing bowel kinking secondary to this intense desmoplastic reaction. Adenocarcinoma is most common in the duodenum and decreases in incidence distally through the small intestine. Crohn's patients are 100 times more likely to develop adenocarcinoma with the majority localized to the ileum. Tumors arise from the epithelial cells following the adenoma to carcinoma sequence and most present with nonspecific symptoms. More proximal tumors, especially periampillary tumors, can present with jaundice and biliary obstruction. Like carcinoid tumors, these tumors are treated with small bowel resection and wide mesenteric lymphadenectomy. For duodenal tumors, a Whipple procedure may be required, although a segmental duodenal resection may be appropriate for tumors located in the third or fourth segment. Primary lymphomas of the small bowel are most commonly of B-cell origin and have a highest incidence in the lymphoid-rich ileum. They are the most common small bowel tumor in children with symptoms including abdominal pain, GI bleeding, weight loss, obstructive symptoms, and perforation, and do not typically present with sweats, fevers, or chills. Lymphomas appear as large tumors with homogeneous thickening, and treatment is systemic chemotherapy with conservative small bowel resection for complications. Gists are derived from the interstitial cells of Cajal, arise from the muscular layer, and appear as an intraluminal or outward protruding mass. Over 90% of gists are positive for the C-kit proto-oncogene. Symptoms are most often nonspecific like bloating, unless the tumor ulcerates, bleeds, or grows large enough to cause pain or obstruction. CT may show a well-circumscribed mass with evidence of central necrosis or hemorrhage. The main prognostic determinants are tumor size, mitotic rate, and tumor location. Just spread hematogenously, so an on-block resection without associated lymphadenectomy is sufficient. Unresectable or high-risk tumors should receive pre- or post-operative imatinib, respectively.